Hello, 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 and welcome back to the UK inspired rail network at last. And I tell you what, I've just realized I've done something horribly, horribly wrong. I'm not going to fix it for this video. We're going to crack on. However, I'm not sure when it did happen. And that is this line that we're about to showcase today is electrified. And for me, it's not. And I haven't electrified it. Those ones are electrified. That one there that comes past. And I can't remember what the name of that line is, but that one's in. But the one on the other side of the platform isn't. And I'm not sure why I didn't. Why didn't I electrify that? Hmm. I'm not sure. Anyway, today we're taking a look at the Abbey line. That's the Watford Junction to St. Albans Abbey. And yes, it's meant to be electrified. Let's take a look down the line and see what I've done, shall we? And where I've messed up royally. So there is a train on this. It's somewhere down the line. I've t I did a little look, you see. So as I was loading this, I had to look and I got the wiki up for this line. And then that's when I suddenly realized that it's actually electrified and it had a picture of class 350 EMU on it. And I was like, hey, hold on a minute. That thing's got catenary and that thing's got a pentagram on it and I haven't. I've got a diesel unit. But I'm not sure when it was electrified and I had a quick scan on Wiki and I couldn't find it there. So I might be out of the doghouse and I might be all right because the time period I'm going is kind of early 2000s, late 90s. So I might have got away with this a little bit. Who knows? But a lot of build is kind of mixed up because I'm saying that, but then I've left room for HS2 in London. And so who knows? I might. My, my build's kind of all over the place. It's kind of ended up being a build of the trains I like seeing. And a lot of them are based on when I was younger and a lot of nostalgia. So there's a lot of trains there. I've even got, see, I've got some diesel units carrying freight. I think they're not even built in the time that I've got some other trains that are running the passenger services. So who knows? All I do know is, is this bit of line's meant to be electrified and it's not for me. Does it really matter? Probably not. Will I electrify it? Yes, probably, because I do prefer some of the electrification on some lines and I think this one's good. I didn't realize this line in total, because it's just single track, it only takes 16 minutes, apparently, 16 to 20 minutes to do the entire route. So I'm not overly bothered about the stations I missed out now, because it's a pretty quick train anyway. So what we've done is, you know, we've always had this Watford Junction. When I built Watford Junction, I always had this sort of separate station here with that in mind to build the Abbey line. And obviously the other line on the other side that goes back the other way, which I can't remember the name of, like I said before. I see we have some little bit of logs being delivered there to the old Watford uh, Wooding area. I'm going to call it the Watford Woody. I just had to put some industrial in, so I put like a, a timber yard. What are they called? I don't even know what they're called. Why can't I? Because I, I call them like timber yards, but they're not, are they? Is it Commats? Is that Commats? It's Commats? No, Commats is stone, right? There seemed to be some construction going on here, so I just simulated some construction, put a little construction bit in there, and we extended out, obviously, this line. I put a Commats thing here. I'm not sure if it's actually in use yet. No, it's not. I haven't put anything on that yet. It's not in use. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that because I can't put any freight on this line. But I don't think there, I think there's freight, yeah, that way. So it comes in from this way somewhere. So I could probably somehow, some way, I, I could get some commats going in there and get this in use and get it feeding maybe Watford. And then coming out, I did some housing, just to simulate some housing, a couple of warehouses. And then we've got the Watford North station here. Some of them have got, yeah, as you can see, some of them have got peoples living in them. So we do have a population active on this. So it gets the train busy. And a nice little gate here. Yeah, and a nice little house here. Because there was a random like pub house on the end. I wasn't sure what, sure what to put. So I put a little house. A couple of warehouses. So we slide through, did some hedging we go all the way down and then i put some so there's a lot of field here so i wasn't really sure now i'm gonna lie looks a bit poo doesn't it because i wasn't sure so i put the trees on but because i haven't done the middle of main line yet and haven't detailed any of this i kind of left it to go i like the fact that this farm's got in here though i actually quite like that so i'm gonna roll with that because that looks all right doesn't it i've left a lot of this just with a little bit of field and a little bit of farm from my line it looks all right up here it looks like i haven't done very much and i'm not gonna lie it looks like i've been a bit lazy there but we left it like that because i I wanted to see what I ended up with on this side. So I did the road and dipped under there. I'm not sure, even sure it does dip under there. I think I just went, that ah, do. That's nice because there was a road coming out this way. I was like, we'll just dip under. So what we've done is, is what we've got is Watford North. I did Howwood. That's why there's lots of wood, I'm assuming, because it's Howwood. And then into Watford Abbey. Now, Watford Abbey, I did a little bit more too. Again, I've left a lot bare because we still need to do St. Albans City Station and we still need to detail around that. And there's a nice little uh, coal mine that's been spawned there. So I have left this a lot 
bear. I've, I've been really short for time and I've been trying to learn a bit of flight simulator. And I've also been looking at other sort of builds and I have been sort of sitting down and playing with different builds on this as well. So I, I apologize for the lack of content, um, particularly Transport Fever 2 and, and anything else, really. I'm kind of sort of in a bit of a, how can I put it? Not in a hole. I'm in a bit of a like in betweeny, and I'm trying desperately to find some time to learn flight sim properly so we can have some decent like flights on that. I did buy the Airbus A380 flight sim, but then the flight sim 2024 is coming out. But I couldn't help it. I wanted to get on the A380. So maybe we'll do something like that. Um, I need to learn a lot in flight sim. I'm still learning a fair bit of the assists, um, but I'm getting there. I'm slowly being removing them. I managed to get the Airbus A380 in the air and, and press all the right buttons to get it out, which was, I, I impressed myself with that. So I was pleasantly surprised. What I would like to get into with flight sim, though, is get to a point where I'm adding some sort of like, <laughs> it sounds silly. So when, when my idea, like if I'm going to create a video on something, my idea to do it is, is I have to know about it. Otherwise, I just look like I don't know what I'm doing. So I, I feel the need and it's the same with this game as well. I feel the need that I need the hours in it to understand it so I can add some value to you guys. Aimlessly playing a game just doesn't work for me. Learning on the job is quite fun. That's the other option I was going to do. I was going to, you know, do the tutorials on flight sim and learn on the job with you as well and explore that and it could be quite funny who knows but i do like to know what i'm doing to a certain extent so i can understand so i don't have answers to questions as well but i don't look like a complete moron that's the way i'm looking at it anyway back to the trains get off the planes julian back to the trains yeah st Albans uh, city on the midland main line obviously that's had nothing it's got people on it because we've got buses linked through and then we've got luton airport over here obviously taking off there we go easy jets taking off where are you off to, sir? He's off to IBZ, off to Ibiza. Dropping off those party goers. It is the summer after all. St. Albans Abbey. This is, you know, it's kind of got like an extension on it, a little bit of fencing on there. I've used the GWR station because it's got that old sort of, you know, classic kind of look to it. We've added the uh, fake gravel uh, ballast plat uh, tracks on the left here just to extend out the ballast and give it a bit more, a bit more oomph, a bit more going on. Um, it has got sort of some sort of service crossing here. So I just added a little bit of road, a little bit of crossing, just add a little bit of eye candy, really. We go up, we go past the housing. Again, I've left a lot of this spare because we've got to fill out St. Auburn City. Um, added some more houses. Some of it's going to spawn population, some of it's not. This is really hard because it was houses going up a hill. But you know how this game doesn't like, it, you know, it goes all ski with. But I tried to do it, so it was quite nice. So as you're coming down the hill or going up, you've got the houses that slowly tail off a bit higher next to you. Put some hedges either side. A bit of hedging. And then we sort of come off, opens up a little bit here. There's a crossing here. That's kind of a lot of park and walkway. I wasn't sure what sort of fence to put here, so I kind of left it open. So children, just be, be careful. I swear I put a fence here and it's disappeared, actually. Who knows? sort of come in a little bit more hedging then i did a little bit of fencing i'm not sure why maybe this is telling you this because you can see it then i sort of switched up the fencing because that's kind of what happened just around those houses um that's meant to be tesco's i've used it was meant to be tesco's but it hasn't got tesco's sun in it um it's i've used two assets back to back to sort of extend it and make it a bit longer than some other sort of buildings here again i'm not sure what i'm going to do with all this i'm not sure what goes in here so i've kind of left it for now i just wanted to get everything sort of eye level in place really we might flatten this terrain we'll see what these doing I'm not really sure. I'm trying to keep it all to the railways and not worrying about all this. This is going to be interesting because this is how wood and this is high Barnet. And that is so out of whack. That is unbelievable. But who knows? So anyway, today what we're doing is we're doing the Watford Junction to St. Albans Abbey cab ride. There is a train on there somewhere. Did we see it as we went past? I've put the wrong train on, as I said, because it's electrified. We've got one of these little bad boys on here. It's close enough. It's diesel. It shouldn't be. But there it is. Is my gate going to open in time? Oh, wow. That was close, wasn't it? And I've put the wrong gate on there because they're overlapping. They shouldn't overlap. Um, that's probably why that's taking ages. It needs a smaller gate. Oh, well. So what we're going to do is we're going to set off from St. Albans Abbey and head in to Watford Junction. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to subscribe. There will be more content. We're going to get back on the bandwagon. They're the plans I have anyway. I'm going to sort of, I'm going to end this here, leave you with the cab ride, and I'm probably actually going to load up the map in a different guise and carry on with something else to get some more out for you over the next couple of weeks because I used to, I've gone from like two videos a week, which is was a lot to be fair. And that's probably why I'm probably going to go down to one video a week, occasionally two videos, depending on what's coming out and what's going on. You know, it might be two different games, like maybe we'll do carry on with this, maybe a toolbox sometimes, depending on what's out and what tickles my fancy. Don't forget to visit dguk.tv. On there, it's obviously got my Twitch channel, which that is the next plan as well, is to get back on Twitch, do some live streams. And also don't forget to visit streaming music for the people, the other people out there that create content, create videos, live stream. There 
there is a massive library that I continually grow on there called Streaming Music. You can go on there, you can download all the WAVs, MP3s. They're all completely free for you to use. You could also find me on Spotify, Amazon, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and all the others, all of them. And if you need music in the background during your content or live streams, you are absolutely more than welcome to use that. It's completely, as they say, copyright free. That's not really the case. I own the copyright, but I do not copyright claim for other people using my music in their content. It's not on the YouTube content ID system because I purposely removed it so it wouldn't copyright you on YouTube when you use it. If you do, however, have any problems and you run into any copyright, contact me. I'll explain to you what to do because sometimes you have these naughty accounts that pretend that it's theirs when it's not and they're trying to claim royalties because they're scamming and they're being naughty. But so far, so good. If you do run into those sort of problems, obviously just contact me. Contact YouTube explaining it's mine and it's free for you to use and it'll be fine. Anyway, enjoy the cab ride. I appreciate you all very much, Lee. Enjoy the cab ride. See you in a bit.